Prosecutor General Kumbarai Hadzi resigned on Tuesday citing poor health, but sources said he had been under pressure to quit or be forced out. Hadzi was controversially appointed by President Emerson Nangagwa in November 2019, after coming last of six candidates interviewed for the position. Cabinet Secretary Ms. Hexa Banda said Nangagwa had received Hadzi's resignation with regret adding, his resignation has come about due to ill health requiring medical attention. In the light of this, President Nangagwa has accepted the resignation. Sources told Zimliv that Hadzi had fallen out with the permanent secretary in the Justice Ministry Virginia Mabhiza after an incident last year when an emergency meeting had to be called to discuss rumors that he had ordered her arrest, the reasons for which were not clear. When confronted, Hadzi vehemently denied making such moves. Perceptions that he was incompetent and rampant corruption among prosecutors added to the insecurity of his position. He has some medical issues for sure, it's not unusual to call his office and be told he's off sick, but this has much to do with a fallout with Mabhiza which refused to heal, a source in the National Prosecuting Authority said. Removing Hadzi would have required the appointment of a tribunal, a fate that befell three of his last four predecessors in Sabusa Gulen Debel, Johannes Tamanov and Ray Goba. Andrew Chigavera, Zimbabwe's top prosecutor between 2000 and 2003, was allegedly forced to retire. In March last year, Justice Tawanda Chitapi launched a blistering attack on Hadzi, suggesting he should go back to law school. Hadzi had filed an appeal against a high court decision granting suspected armed robber Musa Taj Abdul bail, arguing that the prosecutor who consented to bail had no authority to do so. Justice Jatapi said Hadzi should familiarize his office with important judgments of this court and the Supreme Court on key operational areas of law like bail generally in a stinging rebuke. As Prosecutor General, Hadzi also oversaw the prosecution of dozens of leading opposition activists on what critics said were trumped up charges. I'm the street, I'm the street, I'm the street.